Hey guys, this is Jared from So Is It Any Good and we just saw Baby Driver. Ben, Ben, we're doing the review. Sorry? We're doing the review. Oh, sorry. I was just listening to the, uh, the Baby Driver soundtrack. It's quite good. <sighs> uh, so I'm Ben, that's Jared. And like I said, we just saw Baby Driver. Baby Driver tells the story of Baby, coincidentally. Uh, a getaway driver for a team of crooks led by uh, Kevin Spacey's Doc, and they pull in off heists, Baby's the driver, he's fucking sick, and he's got this uh, condition that makes him need to wear headphones at all times, so the soundtrack is fucking rocking. He gets drafted in for one last job, but things don't exactly go to plan. In this business. The moment you catch feelings is the moment you catch a bullet. So Ben, is it any good? Uh, yeah, I think I think you know it's good, Jared. You know it's good. It's, <laughs> well, it's I almost, saw it, so yeah. It's I know almost it's a good. rhetorical question, yeah. anyway. Uh, yeah, I think all the reviews for this ahead of us seeing it were really overwhelmingly positive. Yeah. And we should probably say up front that we're both uh, huge uh, Edgar Wright fanboys. Massive fanboy. Yeah, fanboys. we basically had to, you know, there was there was no uh, fight back from the rest of the, the team that so was in the good that we would see this. We basically just said, look, we're gone. Yeah, like, yeah. there's no, nothing you can do. There was no arguments. Yeah. Uh, and it completely lives up to expectations for me. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I was worried about coming into this was that uh, I'd get fatigued from the, um, the premise of this, which is music, soundtracking, the action in the film. Uh, the it was great in the trailer, but I'm thinking to myself, can they you know, keep this going for two hours? Yeah. And, he, and he does, like absolutely. I didn't feel fatigued at all like, no. during this whole thing. What about you? Well, I felt fatigued, but just because of how awesome it was. Yeah. Like it's, it's basically edge of your seat the entire movie. Um, yeah. Soundtrack, as you said, is awesome. There's like 35 songs in there and barely a breath in between them. Yeah. Uh, but it never feels like too much, it never, and it never feels like a jukebox. Like, they're perfectly picked for the scene. Um, they, uh, as you said, they, they're timed expertly to the action and even the dialogue in some cases. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. So there's uh, the obvious choices on this soundtrack. You know, you've got Queen on there, which harks back to Shaun of the Dead again. Yeah. Um, but you've also got unexpected choices. There's Barry White on here. Barry White. A lot of old uh, 70s prog rock on here, like yeah. uh, T-Rex. Uh, and there's also, bit of folk and blues on there as well. It's so varied. Yeah, it's absolutely like an eclectic mixtape as you would expect from Edgar Wright. Yeah. Um, but he hasn't gone for the obvious, you know, obvious choices here. Like, you know, you'd expect at some point to see maybe some Led Zeppelin or something, but it's a little more obscure than that. Um, and when he does use well-known songs, he always does it in sort of a tongue-in-cheek, kind yeah. of cheesy kind of way. Yeah. Um, but overall, I think this is like easily this will be hard to beat for soundtrack of the year. I, I don't think I don't think Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk will uh, be high on the rotation on people's Spotify's <laughs> this year. So I, I think Edgar Wright's pretty safe with yeah. uh, his soundtrack on this one. So how's the cast? Ansel Elgort. Is he a leading man? You bet your ass he is. He owns this from the minute he's, he steps on screen. Uh, he has an extended musical number in his car the first thing you see him. And then he has a, another musical number walking down the street. And if, if you don't believe that character doing those things, it would come off as cheesy. But yeah. I think he, he puts 110% into it. And then he just grows and grows and grows as the movie goes on. Jamie Foxx is excellent, playing a completely unhinged uh, character named Bats. Uh, Who's batshit crazy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling that was where they were going with that. Yeah. Lily James is, is one of the actors that I was slightly disappointed with. Not, not because she's not charismatic and you know, she's quite bright eyed, her characters. She, she's not of, bad. No, she's not bad no. In, in any way. I just, I don't think she's overly three dimensional. No. Um, I think they probably could have given her just a little more, humanized her maybe just a little more. Yeah. Uh, and I can see that being probably one of the only criticisms of, th of this film. Yeah. Edgar Wright hasn't given her quite enough to do. Yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, top to bottom, I think it's a great cast. And he, Edgar Wright asks a lot of these guys. Yeah. You, you just know he would have done take after take after take. So they, they must well, all enjoy working with him. Yeah. Well, everything is so precise. All of the movements and everything. That it's, it's almost like a musical number every scene where they have to hit certain beats of the song. So 
uh, yeah, I, I can imagine he worked them like nothing else. Well, you know, if there's any justice, this, this movie should win a Best Editing Oscar. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, like, you've never seen, you know, something so well put together. No. And even someone who doesn't really appreciate the craft of editing would just be blown away by this. Yeah. There's just such an energy to every single cut in the entire film. So it's a yes from me, guys. Yes from me. And if you'd like to see more of our bright, shining faces... We're, the, we're the same person, by the way. We really are. You, yeah. could, you could interchange us at any point. You're, uh, you're Ben, I'm Jared, right? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, it works both ways. Yeah. Hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more from us, or go to our Facebook page. And uh, until next time, we'll see you at the movies. See you guys. Ben, you're my ride home. <laughs>